Hey, how are you guys? Um, your expert 101 here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, some of the cool features, some of the some of the not so needed features, but some some cool features that uh, you guys might like in the new 3.1 update for the iPhone uh, first gen, second gen, or third gen 3GS uh, as I have. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start it off. This really, uh, to be honest, this is really a big update. I think the one that on on September 25th, which Guys, I'm sure you all know um, the new multimedia uh, messaging is coming out, uh, sending pictures in as a text message as well. That that's a big uh, loss that uh, Apple and AT&T haven't worked uh, with for a while. So now, that hopefully, they're coming out September 25th, as it says on a lot of blogs. And today, um, this really isn't a big update, as I said. Uh, not it wasn't like the 3.0. The 3.0 was really a change to the whole diversity of the phone, the use of the phone, and how how we should go about the phone but this it's some really nice features it comes into play in my life I use it uh, on a daily basis you guys or and all the iPhone users should be using it so firstly guys um, I'm gonna be showing you alright um, this is my, I just got this camera this is my first video I'm ever taking with this camera hopefully this comes out good so firstly guys uh, of course um, the first one I think this really bugged me whenever I had I got emailed I got a phone number in the email. What what I have to go back and forth to remember the number and everything. I have to go back and forth. I have to go into my email, remember it, right? Go on my phone, go on my keypad and do this. It's annoying, right? So now guys they have a new feature, copy and paste into the number tab. Select all. Sorry. Select the number, copy, okay. Now you can go into the phone tab. Click and hold. Sorry you guys you didn't see that. I'll do that again. Go into emails. Select all. Copy. I actually won't copy that. Copy that. I'll go into my phone. Go to my keypad. Hold down. Paste. And there's a number. See? Now from here, you could copy and or paste. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go into my email. I want to email to someone. Touch it and paste. There we go. Same number. You see that, guys? So I think that's really handy. I, I definitely use that on a daily basis. It really helps me to do everything that I actually want to do with my iPhone. So I think that's a really great feature to have. Another feature, a lot of you guys, I'm not personally me, I do not have mobile me on my phone on, on my phone connected with my computer. I do not really have that. Um, I think it's amazing. I think what they're doing now with Find My iPhone is really great. I saw in the news some guy actually did that and put some, a couple guys in jail. I think that's really cool. So, um... You guys could go into your mobile me account if you lose your phone. Um, you guys could um, wipe the hand, wipe everything in the phone, so all your private information stays with you, and no one else could see it other than on your backed up computer. Or you could set a keypad in your mobile me. You could go in, you select a password, and you could send it right to your phone. So whoever, if you lost your phone, someone found it. They try to go in it, they swipe it, and a keypad comes up, and they don't know what the password is because you did this for mobile me. So that's really handy. Over air, um, swipe. Uh, you could do keypad and wipe your whole handheld if they haven't seen any information yet. So another, that's a really great feature. I think that's gonna be cool. I think I'm gonna uh, subscribe, not to subscribe. I'm gonna um, sign up for Mobile Me and have a membership with them because that's that's. I think that's really genius what they did with that. Nextly, of course, guys. The I think the genius function is great because I hate. I always hated going to App Store, going to top top free, top paid, having to do all that. But now, guys, once you go into featured, that genius, and this is all determined upon your taste. And on, on what kind of apps you usually download. As you can see here, um, this is the Genius tab in the App Store. Sorry, I'm trying to autofocus it. Right there, top right. I think that's a really good, cool feature. You go in there, and this is all the, everything that think that could suit you on your iPhone, which maybe you would like to download. If you don't like any of these apps, all you have to do is simply take it swipe it remove take it swipe it remove if you don't like it. and every single day every time you go into app in the app store it refreshes with new applications to show you what you might be compatible with so i think that's another great feature it's pretty cool um i'll definitely be using that okay another great feature um definitely i think this is really big um as i drive i have a car i think great feature is the voice control via bluetooth 
You could use your voice control now. Bluetooth, you don't have to have, have in your hand. No more worrying about cops. No more worrying about anything. All you have to do, simply hold down. Voice control. Now, once I don't have it on my Bluetooth connected uh, to show you guys, but um, there's going to be, uh, all you have to do, just speak into your Bluetooth headset, and there you go. There It would start working like that. So I think that's really cool. And um, that's I, I think that's uh, really amazing. So this I think, guys, you're gonna be the you're gonna be really happy to see this finally. I know I will be. Uh, I am actually happy to see this um, video trimming. I think that's the most important thing that they've done so far. So let's take a little video. Okay, show my room a little. All right, pause it. There we go. I just took a video. Okay, here we go. Play it. Okay. Alright, so here we go. I always trim my videos because there's certain sometimes you take a certain video, you can't fit it into an email, so you have to trim it. You trim it like this. Trim it. Once you press trim, it would automatically it would ask you to trim it. Once you trim it, you lose the rest of the data. See here, you could trim original. You can make it so that it's only that. Or now you could keep the original version and make it a new clip, the one that you trim. Save as new clip. I'd go in trimming video. Now I'd go into my. I could email it. Now I'm gonna go into my camera roll. Right here. Here's this as you can see here. Seven second video, the one I trimmed the three second video, the two second this is the whole video. And this is the trimmed video. That's in two that's two separate little files. So um thank you for watching guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm gonna have new videos coming up since I've gotten a new camera, so it's gonna be much easier, much handy. Um and I'll be updating you guys on the 3.1 software and the base band. I know you guys have been have been trying to jailbreak it. I know you guys have been having some problems. And I'll, I'll by the end of the week, guys, I'll be showing you uh, guys how to jailbreak your phone. So, guys, stay tuned. Comment, three, subscribe, and tell me what you think of my videos. Thank you.